I was so dumb as a kid. And all the time. <laughs> This story is about the time when me and three of my friends almost set my neighborhood on fire. And this is probably the most insane story I have. I almost burned my neighborhood down, and I'm just gonna get straight into it. We, we love the wilderness, we would always go outside after school, like, every day. We would just mess around outside, and, like, we'd bring, like, we thought we were so cool, we'd bring our pocket knives outside and just, like, cut down little tiny trees and stuff and start little fires. But this time, we started a fire, and... It, I mean, we did, like, we were not smart. It was, it had been, like, six months since it rained. So this place was just dry. It was literally a desert. And we started a fire, put leaves in there, and it started to spread through the open space. And it, like, that makes it sound like it's a big fire, but it was really, like, this big of a fire. And it started to spread, like, outwards, and it started to just expand. And we were just sitting there shitting ourselves, like, not knowing what to do. And there was this little tiny creek and I know I just said it didn't rain but there's always a creek there it's never gonna stop I don't know where the water comes from maybe it's just a wizard but there's a little tiny creek and there it was there was like this mattress like not a mattress but like a pad like like a like a couch cushion in there like somehow I got down there so I was I stepped in the creek to try to pull the couch cushion because it was soaking wet so I could slap it on the <laughs> on the fire and um, I didn't know if that would work I don't think it would work but I completely sunk my foot into this huge pile of mud and trying to get it and I just turn around halfway getting the cushion out of the water and my friend Matt has this big ass rock that he just picked up from over like somewhere else I wasn't paying attention it's this big ass rock and he just smashes it on the fire and it made like a big wind thing I don't even know wind wave wave of wind wave of air and it, it put the fire out but that thing got big like that it was that was a smart idea if he didn't throw that rock down we would have burned down my neighborhood because this open space backs right up to people's backyards and the fences are wood obviously so it would have burned all the way to the fence start the fence on fire and then the fences are at a t and they they like cross each other so that fence would have started on fire and then the fence that crossed it would have started on fire and it would have crossed all the way up to the house and then there's another t that connect the fence to the house so you can get to the backyard and those would have started on fire and then the houses would have started on fire and everything would have just been on fire and fire would yeah fire I just said fire like 8,000 times, but I don't care because this is one of the best stories that I have to tell. It's one of my best memories looking back at 6th grade. Like, all these stories that I've told on my channel are from 6th grade. We were literally just retards back then, so this is a little bit longer of a story. This was the most exciting story by far. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's smash 70 likes on this video because we've been hitting 60 to 65. Let's see if we can hit 70 because I get like 350 views a video. If we could smash 70, we could do it no problem, so... Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all, and I'll see you in my next one.